Hello friends, welcome back to Bitfumes. I'm your host Sarthak and this is a channel where I talk about Laravel and the cool thing about Laravel. So if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. So in this episode, we are going to learn how to use Socialite to log in via Google or G+. So obviously we need a Socialite. So I have to search for Socialite. So I will type Socialite and this is Socialite and now we have to search for its github repository so here it is and now we have to just follow these instructions so for installing socialite to your laravel project you have to run this composer command so i will just copy it from here and paste it here hit enter and it will take some time so now you can see it's now completed and let's go to socialite documentations and here it is the next steps are we have to copy this from here and we have to paste it inside our providers which is inside app.php so let's go to config file then app.php and we have to scroll down down and here it is here are the providers and now we can put it anywhere but i would like to put it here now next thing next this thing it's we have to copy this from here and paste it here so that we can just use socialite package in our controllers so close this and next thing is we have to copy this from here and open services again inside the config folder and paste it anywhere so i would like to paste it just at the bottom and we are going to log in with Google so I want to say here Google and we will get the client ID and client secret very soon after configuring our socialite so next we have to copy these things from here and we have to paste it inside our controllers which is login controller and here it is and again at the bottom paste it and it's not a github it's google so i have what i have done here i have just select one github then press ctrl d ctrl d and ctrl d three times so that it can select these three and now just type google and it's done the next part to create the routes so where are the routes here it is copy it from here and open web.php so i have pressed ctrl p and now web.php here it is paste it and instead of github again google so everything we have completed for the socialite now we have to just get the client id and secrets for our google so for that you have to go to console.developers.google.com and here obviously if you have not signed in you have to sign in with your gmail id and i have signed in with my bitfumes id and now for login with g plus or google plus you have to enable its api so you will see this kind of dashboard here now click on the enable api and you will find lots of lots of data here but we are interested in google plus api so click here and we just have to enable it so i have already enabled it so what i will do i will show you by disabling it so when you come here for the first time you will see like this you have to enable it so just click on the enable button now it's enabled and next thing you have to create the api so go here on the credentials i will again delete this to show you how to create new client ids so when you click on the credentials you will land on this type of page now click create credentials and oauth client id here it is we are working for the web application so i will give a name for bitfumes g plus it's just a name you can choose any name and now my url so i will give url of http colon slash slash my url name is socialite dot dev because i have used the valet 
for Laravel. So that's why I have socialite.dev. If you have not used Valet, you can use the local host 800, sorry, 8000, and it will also work. So now here I have to provide this thing. So I will just copy it from here and paste it here. So here it is, like this. So it's done here. And now the callback. So for the callback, you have to go to web.php file. And you can see it's the callback like login Google callback. So I will copy it from here. And after this, we have these things. So the callback URL will be socialite.dev slash login slash Google slash callback. And now it says HTTP invalid URL. Why? Let's see. So we have to, I think, yeah, that's why. You can see I have used this slash and that's why it's not getting the proper URL. So when I delete this thing and you can see it's working now. So just click on this create button and it will create your client OAuth ID. And now here it is. The client ID is here. So I have just copied it from here. Go to services, instead of this thing, paste it. And again, same thing for client secret, copied, paste, and the callback URL. So it is socialite.dev slash login slash google slash callback. So save it. And now let's go to our URL that means slash login and obviously you will get an error. Let's see what error we are getting slash Google and it's because we have not used socialite in our controller. Go back to controller. Now click here and just press control shift and P and say here find if you have used PHP companion package for the sublime you will find this option in your sublime and if you have not used this you can find a tutorial on bitfumes channel how to use PHP companion okay and you will obviously find that link inside the description box so I will hit enter so it will just use socialite at the top so again save it and you can see it's handle provider callback so here I will just uncomment it and return it so that we can see what we are getting so now refresh this page and yep we have completed these things now let's log in with bitfume at gmail.com and again it says abstract provider dot php something is wrong let's see what is the error here you have to say one thing like when you go here on the socialite you can see it says for the google you have to type this stateless because google is very smart and we have to provide many things to get information from google so now everything is good go back and click here and you can see we have the token so instead of token when i say name and login again and I'm getting my name and it's so easy to log in with these kind of social networking websites so now the next thing is we don't want many kind of routes like here we have a route for Google and if we create route for Twitter we will have route for Twitter like this so it will say twitter but we don't want to create these things like this and obviously we have to create these functions for every social networking website like google like facebook like twitter and like github everywhere so obviously we don't want to do like this so in the next episode we will see how to create only a uh, custom dynamic urls routes and the functions all the coming in next episode so please don't forget to subscribe if you have subscribed then don't forget to share with your developer friends and obviously if you have any doubt 
please feel free to comment me and message me on Facebook. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. So we will meet in the next episode. Till then, goodbye.